Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. I know a lot of you commented about maybe me making a Fedora 36 KDE spin video, so here it is. Well, for the uninitiated, Fedora Linux 36 is a very stable and fast moving operating system that updates every six months or so. It is a fine balance between stability and newer software. And if you're new to the desktop environment, KDE, which I believe is more important than the actual distribution itself. So I'll give you a little tour and then we will dive straight into what's new in Plasma 5.24 that is shipped alongside Fedora Linux 36 KDE variant. So without further ado, let's dive right in. As you can see before us, we have a beautiful wallpaper made by Fedora Linux for the 36th version. And down below, we have what Windows people call the taskbar, what Linux people call the panel. On the left, you have your start menu, and then a few pinned apps, namely settings, discover, which is your software center, file manager, and Firefox. On the right, you have a few icons. So this would be your notifications. So if I click on it, as you can see, these are your notifications. Let them go. And this is telling me that there are security updates. This is for volume. So I don't have any applications playing or recording audio, so there is nothing here. But if there were, they would have been here. Under devices, you have line in and line out. So as you can see, as I am speaking, it is picking up my voice even through the VM and it's showing it. And you can also raise the maximum volume, which is helpful sometimes because what OEMs do is that for laptops, they have very specific drivers to get the maximum potential out of their speakers. And in Linux, you don't have that driver, right? So oftentimes, like for instance, in my laptop, the sound is very low. So raising maximum volume helps out a ton. Next is your disks and devices. So this is the ISO I used to install Fedora on this VM. So it shows this as an optical disk. Over here is your network connection. Again, wired connection because it's inside a VM. Now, if we go into this little thingy, you can see you have your notifications, your reminders, clipboard, night color for blue light filtering, vaults for encryptions, power management, KDE Connect. So basically a software for transferring files, using your phone as an input to your Linux desktop and many more cool things. And it also has the lock keys status. Next is your date and time. So as you can see, if I click on it, it gives me a tiny little calendar, which is very nifty. And then is your show desktop. So let's say I have file manager open. This is Dolphin, a very, very beautiful app in the Linux world. And if I click on show desktop, it'll take me back to the desktop. All right, now go to the start menu. So as you can see on the left, we have a couple of categories and apps are beautifully categorized under them. So if I go into office, as you can see, you have KML, contact, K organizer, and the entire LibreOffice suite. Now, some of these names are very self-explanatory, but let's say, for example, Dragon Player. You don't know if it plays dragons or something else. So as you can see, they have video player mentioned. So this is a nifty little thing, but very handy for people who are new to most of these apps. Now you also have sleep, restart, shut down. And if you click this button, you have lock and log out. All right. Now we're going to talk about what's new in Fedora Linux 36 KDE variant because KDE Plasma that ships with this distribution is 5.24. And to check out some of the new things, we need to head over to system settings. Now, before I show you what's new, let's confirm about the version numbers. Okay. If I click on about the system, as you can see, Plasma 5.24, we are using the latest kernel 5.17. So if you're somebody who uses Intel integrated graphics cards or AMD discrete or integrated cards, the later the kernel number, the better it will be for you. It doesn't matter so much if you're on Nvidia. Now this is using Wayland as the default compositor. You could, but if you face problems, you can always switch back to X11 from the login screen. Personally, I stick with X11, but Wayland has and is and will be making tons of improvements in the upcoming days. So let's talk about what's new, all right? So to do that, we have to go to appearance and then we have to go to colors. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have accent colors. So it's blue, you can switch it to something, let's say orange. 
Now, if I apply this, what's new in 5.24 is that apart from these changing colors to your specific accent color, now you also have folders which match your accent color. IMO, this looks very pretty, is a very good way to make your desktop look consistent. And I'm not against it. It's very pretty. You can see it changed colors. Now we're going to go into the Discover app. Oh, and before that, if you want to know more about Dolphin, it's a very standard, beautiful file manager. You have your places on left, your remote connections, your devices. And under here, you could change how your folders look like. Over here, you can create split tabs. You can close them. You can search for your files. And also, you have other options in here. Now, generally, KDE Plasma, if you start digging deeper, it will look very complicated and you can be overwhelmed. But on the surface, it's very intuitive. It's Windows-like. And I think it's one of the best desktop environments apart from GNOME. Now, let's head over to Discover, as I promised. Hmm, Discover is crashing for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, before it crashes, I just need to show you one thing. All right, so what's new in this time? So a number of improvements feature here, including an easy way to manage Flatpak repositories, open and install downloaded Flatpaks, and auto adding of Flatpak repositories to the system during install. As you can see, you already have Fedora Flatpaks, but if you wanted, you could add FlatHub to this as well. So for this, you need to enter your super user strong password and hit enter. And as you can see, central repository of Flatpak applications will be in your hand. Now, uh, I don't want to click on applications and jinx this entire thing, but if you search for apps now, I'm pretty sure apart from getting Flatpaks from your Fedora hosted repositories, you would also be able to get apps that are hosted in FlatHub repository. So that's that. Moving on, now you have a beautiful overview. So if I hit Windows plus W, as you can see, this is a GNOME-like overview that you can use to see which applications you have open. Oh, and by the way, this isn't enabled by default for some reason. I would like it to be, but no worries. You can just search overview in here and go to desktop effects, search again. And as you can see, you click this little option to enable overview. Pretty straightforward, but it should have been enabled by default. Now, apart from this, there is another new app that's here in Plasma 5.24. So this is Kwrite. Instead of Kate, the usual default text editor, you now have Kwrite. It's a text editor. You have your pretty much standard things. Well, I've never really used Kate, and I don't use KDE Plasma on a daily basis. So I don't know what Kate looks like, but Kwrite, it seems pretty good. You have a ton of options and this seems a pretty well full-fledged text editor. You know, I can't complain. So apart from these, as we wrap up the video, you have other things such as picture of the day plugin now has a new source. You can configure display settings item in the desktop context menu. So this, you can see, configure display settings is here. You can now make the desktop icons twice as large. You can you have the option to reverse align tasks in task manager and you have a lot of other things. Another important thing is now you have a new speaker test sheet in audio settings page and also you have a scale factor listed in display and monitor settings. You also have fingerprint support in the lock screen Window thumbnails on Task Manager now pop up faster, and the list goes on and on and on. This is the beauty of using Linux. It develops so fast, you are never going to stagnate. Whether you're on GNOME or KDE or Cinnamon, everything moves fast, and it's a lively place to be. So if you are new to Linux, I welcome you to Linux, and check out my other videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Please like the video, and I'll catch you in the next time. Peace!